This is Code Combat. I'm currently working on Computer Science 2. I'm on level 36, Greed Traps. Goal. Lure the and defeat the ogres. Lure ogres into the trap with coins, okay? Your task is to patrol, move to X, move to each X mark in turn, and watch for coins. If a coin appears, then build a fire trap on the X mark. Peasants are roaming the forest as well. So only build traps when you see a coin. Avoid collecting the coins because they attract, they act as bait for your traps. Got it. All right. So uh, here's a comment, right? The hashtag is a comment. It is not run by the program when it, when it goes through the code. Comments are only for programmers. So they're frustrated. Move to the given X, Y position. All right. So we need to move X, Y. And what are the positions? Well, we're going to use the parameters here, X and Y. So perfect. Search a coin, and if you see it, build a fire trap. Search. Okay. Um, find. Oh, here we go. Find item. All right. And then if we're not sure what this is, because I don't remember, what's this do? Hero find nearest item. Okay. So we can declare, got it. It's just like enemy. All right, search for a coin. If you see it, build a tr fire trap. So search for an item. If if item, and then we want to do what? We want to build types. Oops. Build X, Y. And we know we want to fire hyphen trap. And then what do we, where do we want to build it? Well, we want to use the parameters X and Y. Okay. And so then down here, when we run this function, so the computer is going to run the code. I'm going to get rid of this stuff. We've seen it. The computer is going to run this code. It's going to say, okay, define this function. And it will make this function, but it doesn't actually run the code. It hits wall two and says, oh, okay, I'm going to run. Now, maybe build trap. Oh, where's that? Uh, oh, here's maybe build trap. And then it says X. What's X? 12. What's Y? 56. Drops down and starts running the code inside of it. Okay, the hero moves to, what was X? Oh, yeah, 12. And then 56 for Y. All right, hero moved. Now here I will look around and find an item, name that item, item. If item, does it exist? If so, droop, hero, build a fire trap. Okay, and then we hit the bottom of our function and we drop to the code below it, right where we were in the program. Now move to the right pass, passage. So top right, got it, which will be 6856. So we wanna use our function again. This is called calling a function. Make sure you capitalize the, the correct letters. 56, 68. I always get these wrong. What did I just say? 6856. Ah, dyslexia. Okay. And then is the bottom right? Yep. 6812. So now we're going to call. We're going to write that function again to make it run. And then now for the bottom left, 12, 12. All right, let's give that a shot. Oh, awesome. We did it. Here's the code that worked for me. If you're confused about some of it, you're kind of unsure, just go back and watch this video again, right? Slow it down at parts. It slowly will start to make sense. If you don't understand some of this code, make sure to go back, hear me talk about it just one more time. Great, let's keep going. 